Hey guys, this is Editors Depot and you're watching another intro template tutorial. Feel free to pause this video at whatever moment you wish if we're going a little too fast for you. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. We always reply to every single comment and if we're away for a minute, just go ahead and comment down below and there's very friendly people that will help you, guaranteed. It's important to remember that this is a pre-made tutorial that we've carefully selected and approved because we noticed that it works the exact same way. If you have any questions, comments, or it's just not working for you, just leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you, guaranteed. Now this tutorial requires both Adobe After Effects and Cinema 4D. You will absolutely require them. If you do not have them, go ahead and visit editorsdepot.com. We can do any template customization at very affordable prices. Just feel free to select the template you wish and check out with it and detail everything you want on the template. Now that that's out of the way, all you're going to want to do is open up the Cinema 4D file. So here it is and we already have it open so we're going to go ahead and bring it up. And as you can tell, everything is ready to go. All you have to do is replace the text, render, and you're done. Except one little thing, there's sometimes problems that come up with the templates, and I'm going to go ahead and cover them here. Sometimes the audio will be included, and you don't have to worry a bit about that. As you can tell on this template, the audio is included. It's not a problem at all, and sometimes the font is not included. If it's not, all you want to do is, of course, look for the text layers. They will look a little like this. Select it, and then hit font and select any font you wish. You can visit designerdepot.net for any font you wish. The first thing you wanna do is of course modify one of the text layers. So here it says your, I'm gonna go ahead and hover the text after I select it and replace it with editors. I'm gonna do the same thing for the second layer behind that one. I'm gonna hover the text and write editors. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and render preview. And as you can see, it says editors, everything is 100% fine. You do the exact same thing for the bottom layers. I selected both at the same time. I'm going to replace it, replace it with Depot. Once I go ahead and render preview, it looks amazing and I'm happy with it. I'm 100% happy with the colors because it's red and Editor's Depot is red. But if you're not happy with the colors, you can simply come down below, double click it and make any modifications you wish. Whether it's make it green, make it blue, or blend it all together and make a little purple. I'm going to go ahead and keep it this way and I'm going to go ahead and go to my render settings now. Once you're in the render settings, you're going to want to make sure that your width and height is set to 1920 times 1080 if you have a very good computer or decent computer and you have time. If you have a slow computer and you probably don't have that much time, you make sure you set it 1280 by 720. You want to make sure you tick all frames and then you go to save. You make sure it has a PNG sequence for a faster render that does not reduce quality at all. And you want to make sure you select file here. Make sure you make a folder for this one render sequence that's alone and empty. Mine is template render and I'm going to name my, say my every single sequence render. You close that and you begin the render. While it finishes rendering, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Adobe After Effects file and go ahead and get started with that for you guys. As you can see that says that there's two files missing so I'm going to go ahead and find them for my computer. So I'm going to wait for it to load and as you can see it's here, it says here that the audio is missing. I'm going to go ahead and double click the file and I'm going to find it for the computer. It should be included in the template and if it's not included, we're sorry and we're going to do our best to try to help you but if it's not, you can go ahead and include any audio you want. As you can see here, it's not included so I'm going to go ahead and just drag in one of my, non my copyright free files that I have in my library. You can use the one that we're using for this tutorial. Another really quick tip you can actually follow is just close this right click the file and go to rename you can actually copy the entire name if it still has the original name of the song then you go back to YouTube you paste that there and you download the file from there you want to make sure it's copyright free and you're not breaking any laws though once you've gone ahead and replaced your song you're gonna to want to go ahead and replace the other thing that was missing which is of course the PNG sequence it might be a PNG file dot um, PNG or it might be an mp4 file or anything within those regards like Q quick time for example you're gonna go ahead and double click it and replace it with your render sequence I'm gonna select the first frame scroll all the way down just to be safe and select the last frame you want to make sure you do the same thing all while holding shift so let so it selects every single one you make sure you tick on sequence here where it says PNG sequence. You should have that option for Windows as well. You hit open and it will import every single one and it'll make it look like a video. That makes you render much faster and it looks the exact same. So we're 100% done. Assuming you have every single one of the plugins required, you're 100% done. And if you don't, you're going to have a black screen similar to this. But if you do have a black screen similar to this, you're going to just want to make sure you troubleshoot it by turning off or turning back on whatever adjustment layers might be messing up your 
entire video. As you can see here, all of the adjustment layers, one of them within these, messed up the entire render. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them on one by one. That one's fine. That one's fine. You, oh, this, way, this one's the problem here. So you make sure you turn them back on. And you're done. So I had one, bit, one layer that messed everything up. And that's because I do not have the correct plugin. You want to make sure you fix that. And you want to make sure you don't run into that problem again. And finish the composition by adding it to the media encoder queue. That pretty much summarizes our video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, remember, drop a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop a thumbs up if you are a fan of us and you like what we're doing. And guys, we really appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of our hearts. We really appreciate every single one of you guys, whether you're liking this video, disliking, or you just left and you didn't even watch this tutorial, guys. Hope you all have an amazing day. And as always, this is Maurice. Visit editorsdepot.com for any customization of templates and have an amazing day. Take care, guys.